you are watching a video lesson that is a part of botanypedia lecture series and today the topic for uh, the uh, e lecture is the scope of environmental studies i am dr pavan kumar and we will be discussing about two aspects in this particular lecture first we will learn what is environment and we will see what is the scope and importance of environmental studies so the origin of word environment and definition of the word and the definition of environment it has come from french word environ which means to encircle around or surround the term environment was proposed by biologist jacob van urkel another term that is used for this field of study is ecology that is the study of interactions between an organism and its environment as per the definition of environment protection act epa 1986 environment is defined as the sum total of land water air and their interrelationships among themselves and also with the human beings and other living organisms now we will look at the scope and importance of environment studies the scope of environmental studies is very wide and it deals with many areas like there is one domain that entirely deals with the conservation of natural resources so the awareness about the natural resources as renewable and non renewable resources helps us to utilize resources appropriately in the environment we can categorize resources into two categories renewable resources and non renewable resources so what are renewable resources these are the resources whose stocks are not limited so they can be renewed again and again like for example solar energy energy coming from wind air water tides flowing water soil and plants etc while on the other hand there are some other resources whose stocks are limited and for formation of these resources it takes millions and millions of years like for example fossil fuels so if their stocks are limited and we do not use them judiciously or we do not uh, use them uh, in, in properly then their stocks may get finished so in order to prevent that from happening we must understand or must devise or must follow some conservation studies uh, conservation strategies so these resources are known as uh, non renewable resources so the balanced use of these resources is very crucial in order to prevent uh, them from getting exhausted so so how that kind of equitable distribution or judicious use of uh, or the proper use of these resources will happen for that we need to make some policy so there there is a domain in the evs that is entirely dedicated to conservation of natural resources then we have uh, another uh, domain in the environmental studies and that deals with the ecological aspects this domain provides the knowledge about ecological system their cause and effect relationships they it provides knowledge about the biodiversity richness of particular areas and the potential dangers to the species of plants animals and microorganisms for example the extinction of one species can cause severe imbalances in the entire ecosystem in terms of increase or decrease in the populations of other organisms that are dependent upon it for example if you remove all the, the uh, tigers or lions from a particular forest it will lead to increase in the population of deer which will eventually eat up all the grass and it will convert a forest into a desert so in order to prevent that from happening the proper knowledge about the understanding of the population dynamics of each and every species in the environment is very important so here uh, one example is discussed uh, the example of keystone species is discussed so what are, what are keystone species they are those species which have high impact on a particular ecosystem and they are very critical for the overall structure and function of the ecosystem and for maintaining the balance in an ecosystem so if you remove them from the ecosystem they directly or indirectly they influence the the population 
of other species. So thus, in the absence of such a keystone species, many ecosystems would fail to exist. One of the common example is in this context is a predator prey relationship. If you remove a predator from an ecosystem, it will drastically influence the population of the prey. So jaguar is one, one of the example of keystone species as they help in balancing the large ecosystem. So there is this domain of environmental studies that deals with the ecological aspects. Then uh, we have uh, the portion or the domain of EVS that deals with the pollution of the natural resources and what are the strategies that can be employed to control uh, the pollution. So this field of study makes us aware about the natural and man-made causes of pollution such as land pollution, air pollution, water pollution, sound pollution, etc. Pollution is not only caused by the humans and, the, uh, and there are other natural causes uh, of pollution like for example if there is air pollution it can also be caused by wi uh, the wildfires or it can also be caused by the volcanic eruptions. So there are natural causes of pollutions as well as there are man-made causes of pollution. So there are industries, there are scientists, there are departments that they deal with the uh, strategies to curb such issues which are related to pollution. So here comes the role of science and technology. These are some pictures showing different types of uh, pollution. Picture one shows uh, land pollution, second picture shows water pollution and third picture shows uh, air pollution. Now we will talk about the uh, scope of environmental studies that is directly related to societies. So there are social issues that they have, they are directly related to environment. Environmental problems can have significant impacts on people and their lives. And hence, they have uh, if impacts on the societies. For example, the Gujarat earthquake that occurred in Bhuj on 26 January 2001 killed around 13,000 people and uh, more than uh, 20,000 people were injured, injured. So it destroyed nearly uh, 3,40,000 buildings that fueled socio-economic turmoil. Also, it has been proven that most societies develop differently in different environmental habitats. So prior knowledge about such disasters can be crucial for devising strategies of infrastructure development and landscaping patterns. There is another scope of uh, environmental studies that deals with impacts of human population growth on environment which has mostly to do with the overpopulation. Overpopulation leads to other problems such as pollution in the environment, global warming, climate change, ocean acidification, deforestation and ozone layer depletion. These are the uh, some problems uh, which shows how increase in the population of uh, humans have impacted environment. So these are some pictures showing how the uh, human population is increasing day by day. The picture, the second picture shows uh, a typical uh, site uh, which is heavily polluted. Uh, and the third picture shows how industrialization has led to the increase in the deforestation. Now there are uh, areas, there is a scope of environmental studies that deals with the predictions of natural calamities. So this domain helps us to understand the causes, consequences and possible solutions to predicted disasters such as flood, earthquake, landslides, cyclones, etc. So these are the some pictures. On the left hand side you can see how a cyclone can have a devastating if impact on the coastal areas. On the right hand side you can see a picture of a uh, road uh, being uh, swept away uh, because of a heavy because of a heavy landslide in the hilly areas. So there are different departments that, that are tackling each one of these aspects that are discussed in this particular presentation. 
So this uh, slide typically summarizes all the points that were discussed in the previous slides. So putting everything together, so there are these areas where the environmental studies has found its scope. So just to summarize, so these are the points that it can be summarized into the domain that deals with conservation of natural resources, ecological aspects, pollution of natural resources and its control, social issues related to environment, impacts of human population on the environment, and predictions of natural calamity. If you want to learn more about uh, the environment and its component, you can check the description below. It will take you to a basic introductory lesson that is about uh, the introduction to the environment studies. Thank you for watching this lesson. If you like this lesson, you can hit the like button, subscribe to uh, our channel and share it with your friends so that others can also reap the benefits. of it. Thank you for watching. To receive a copy of this presentation, you can subscribe to our mailing list, which is available at our website, www.botnewpedia.com.